Kauriamis Music Week is the place to be for young composers from all over the world. Uh, the uh, festival exists more than uh, 60 years, but still we are young and attractive for young composers to uh, come and uh, be part of the festival. Uh, part of that is uh, a competition. For the competition, uh, the jury um, has to go through more than 400 entries by young composers from all over the world. So we have uh, scores for ensemble, for electronic music, for gamelan, for whatever these composers today want to do. Um, and in the end, the jury selects a small pile of the most interesting, the most promising, the most talented uh, young composers and their works. I think the Gaudi Amrush Music Week for young composers, it's a key moment in the career for most of the young composers. Not only winning or not, but just having the piece selected, being able to share this week of so intense activity is really, um, it's, it's a learning process. Uh, I wish I had had the opportunity to, to, when I was starting as a composer, to come to the Gaudi Amrush Music Week. Competitions are, are a two-side two uh, thing. And so it's always very difficult and you cannot pretend to be entirely objective uh, and fair in a, to judge something that is not objective. The biggest danger is that you always fall in the consensual pieces, those that find consensus and agreement between all members. So uh, I think this jury is, is going in a very, very uh, fascinating, extraordinary way because we have been discussing hardly pieces that we disagree. Mm -hmm. And that's interesting. You, and we have kept many of them. Because I think art is a bet. There is nothing secure, final, sure about it. So it's a bet. And you bet that this one is good. And then future will show if it is or not. But if you don't bet, I think you miss something. You are facing the risk of being drowned, drowning quality by quantity, and that's a problem. And I think all of us artists now, young composers, old composers, or any type of artist is facing this, this problem. You know, my father one day was telling me, if you have no other choice, then okay, go on and be a composer. Because he was telling me, it's the worst choice you can have. But if you have no other one, then the worst choice becomes the best choice. So, and in that sense, I think it's, of course, a very difficult path. Even in our modern societies that somehow pretend to help and understand art, it will be always in a, a hedge of conflict because I think it's the nature of the freedom of art creates this conflict. I think it's in, an inevitable. The festival will take place in September in Utrecht and this is the first time since long that the festival doesn't take place in Amsterdam. So the city of Utrecht will host uh, this interesting festival because it also creates a new opportunity for us as organization to really in invent ourselves anew. So we will create a new festival which is not only interesting for the composers to come to but also for the audience and to really have an idea of what new music today is. So we will present concerts in small houses, in uh, lots of churches, in concert venues and on the street. So we look forward to um, a brand new festival. Yeah.